welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday, I am back with my grocery hauls. I just finished a workout so I'm still kind of sweaty. I did lots of shopping this week. It's my massive stock up grocery haul after my vacation. I have some new stuff to share with you, I'm pretty excited. So if you are excited to have grocery hauls back into your life, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for my two recipe ebooks full of 15 recipes with all WW plan points and calories included. We have breakfast, we have lunch. Definitely check those out. The third ebook, Dinner, will be releasing shortly, so make sure you grab the other two before dinner is released. You'll also find links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over, join us there. We'd love to have you also down in that description box. So let's jump in to this massive grocery haul. So here's this week's massive stock up haul. I went to both Walmart grocery pickup and Costco. We got a lot of good stuff. I found some new things that I'm pretty excited about. So let's jump into the grocery haul. First, I bought this super cute flannel shirt. This was $12.99. I love the purple plaid. It's going to be perfect for fall and winter. And then I also got this really cute purple leopard sweatshirt. This was $14.99. It's from the brand Buffalo, which is a really high quality brand that Costco sells. So I had to pick those up. Funny, I bought both things in purple. We have a stock up of our paper towels because when at Costco. And then I also bought the Charmin toilet paper, even though it's upside down. They had virtually no toilet paper or paper towels at my Costco. This was the only option, and it was a limit of one per customer. So apparently we're back to that. I did find this really cute Seattle Seahawks hat for Troy for Christmas. I'm going to hide it while he's at his doctor's appointment. Only $11.99, and we live in Washington State, so my husband is a big Seahawks fan, so I thought that this would be a really nice, affordable Christmas gift for him. I bought some more of the Cracker cut hard salami because he's still doing the meat cheese and crackers in fact he wants to take some of that with him for lunch this next week I bought some organic oregano because I was completely out of oregano and some light sour cream for a couple of dinner recipes a 24 pack of diet coke for Troy two bags of frozen sweet peas this is for a recipe that requires a lot of peas so I picked up two bags and then I also have some frozen or radish shredded hash browns. This is for my breakfast meal prep, which you guys will be seeing at the end of the video, as well as the full meal prep coming out on Monday. Some mozzarella cheese for dinner recipes, as well as some light shredded cheese. I thought I had ordered a whole ham, which is what I meant to order, but instead apparently I ordered these ham steaks that are cut similar to lunch meat for really expensive, but I'm glad that I ended up buying the hard salami so Troy can take a little bit of the ham and the hard salami for his lunches. I did go ahead and pick up his favorite salad from Costco. This is a seasonal salad. There was maybe six of these left, so I'm guessing that this is the last chance, so I'm going to surprise him with that. My favorite chicken apple sausage from Walmart from Sam's Choice. These are so good. They have perfect ingredients. I mean, so perfect that they're Whole30 approved, and I need sausage for a recipe. Some unsweetened applesauce. This is for my meal prep, and then I just like to have this on hand. It's a great snack, as well as a great replacement for oil in a recipe. Three cans of no salt added cut green beans for my dogs. They get green beans after a meal, so instead of table scrap. A can of Healthy Request Cream of Mushroom. This is for a recipe. I restocked our favorite mayo from Costco. This is the Primal Kitchen Avocado Oil. $8.50 for this, which is the price you pay for a little teeny jar at the grocery store. So it's something I always pick up when I'm at Costco. I was really excited to see quite a few items from Siete. They have the Siete tortillas, the actual flat almond flour tortillas. And then they have the sea salt grain-free tortilla chips. These are so good, and the ingredients in these are absolute perfection. I love them. I have a bean dip from Imperfect Foods in my pantry that I want to use up, so I thought these tortilla chips would be perfect for that. I also restocked our, is it Creators? Craters, the cheese and caramel mixed popcorn. Both Troy and I absolutely love this popcorn, and it's such a great deal at Costco. New food find for me are these Heavenly Hunks. These are the birthday cake. Now, I've bought these up at Natural Grocers, which is kind of like our Whole Foods or Sprouts here, and they are so good. I mean, too good. You have to really watch yourself with portion control, but I couldn't pass these up. I thought that these would be a perfect 
perfect sweet treat there, 130 calories, and of course the points were here on the screen. I had to, had to pick these up. There's a big case of Gatorade Zero for Troy. He's been taking Gatorade with him for his lunch. I did pick up some turkey pepperoni. I actually need this for a couple of recipes this next week. We are completely out of rice, and I have two recipes for dinners that call for rice, so I grabbed the organic jasmine from Walmart. Picked up some pads from Costco because these are on coupon right now for a great deal, I think $10.99. I also grabbed my kombucha at Costco, $11.99 for six bottles, which is about $2 a bottle. That's the cheapest that you're going to find it, even if kombucha is on sale. It's never that inexpensive, so I picked that up. You guys know I've been loving my LaCroix Limoncello water. I don't know what it is about it, but I've been obsessed with it, so I picked up another eight pack. Classic chip mix for Troy's lunches. He's completely out of chips, and he takes one of these or two of these in his lunch every day. For the huge, a restock of our heartburn medicine. Both Troy and I take this. I'm almost out of my nonstick cooking spray, and this is such a great deal at Costco. $11.99 for two of the huge containers. I also picked up up two, one here and one over there of the Cello Variety Pack of Cracker Cut Cheese. As you know, for Troy's Meat, Cheese, and Crackers, these are on coupon right now for under $10, and I don't know what it is. I've mentioned this before. This is the best cheese ever. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so, so good. So it's a mix of aged cheddar, Jarlsberg Swiss, creamy Havarti, and Dutch Gouda. So good. So we just use this in place of regular sliced cheese. Four pieces of this equals one regular slice of cheese. And again, Troy does like to have this in his lunch and for his meat, cheese, and cracker. I never forget my dogs when I go grocery shopping. These salmon jerkies were new to my Costco, so I picked those up. These just drew me in the Fresh Gourmet Crispy Onions. I think these were $5.99 for this huge huge bag. It's actually a one and a half pound bag. I have been craving salad craving it so i went ahead and picked these up just for that added flavor and crunch to my salad i also like to top my burgers with these my wraps and i have a recipe coming out here in the next couple of weeks that calls for these so i thought i would just pick them up at costco for produce i picked up some spring mix for those salads that i've been craving some blackberries as well as some organic blueberries i did get a couple of zucchinis for a dinner recipe a green bell pepper and some limes for my water the only item Missing is a case of Coors Light from Costco for Troy, but that is my massive stock up haul, my monthly trip to Costco. Let's go ahead and jump into my dinners for this next week, as well as what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. My meal prep is officially back. So here is what I'll be doing for dinners this next week. This is the week of October 2nd through October 8th. Am I the only one that is shocked that it is already October? So today, Saturday, is an out to dinner. Support a small business, have frozen pizza night. Tomorrow, I'm making pizza, pasta, skillet. You guys will see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday, I'm doing a chicken and rice casserole. Tuesday is a leftover night. Wednesday is slow cooker honey garlic chicken. Thursday, I'm making bacon pea salad. I'm really excited for this. I haven't had pea salad in so long and I love it. We'll probably pair that with some protein. And then Friday is always a leftover night so we can finish up everything we didn't finish earlier in the week. So this is what you guys are hearing during this grocery haul. Lola pulls him by his collar all around the house. Lola, Palmer, on. Hey, can you guys behave for just a few minutes? Just a couple minutes. That's it. And here's what you will be seeing on Monday for meal prep. I'm so excited to get back to meal prepping. I'm so excited for these three recipes for breakfast this next week. I'm actually making a crock pot breakfast casserole. This sounds so good as we get into the cooler weather. Lunch is chicken pesto pasta. I love pesto, so I'm excited for this. And then I'm making snickerdoodle zucchini bread. Troy has been asking for zucchini bread, and I found this recipe that's kind of a fun spin on that, so I'm excited for that. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me on another grocery haul, another Saturday haul, another massive stock up haul. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single grocery haul or other video in general. Check out that description box again for two recipe ebooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.